In this video, I want to show you how we can use a, a regular Google Chromecast to create an additional display from our Windows laptop. And it's going to use a piece of software you have to pay for called Air Parrot 3. But this is just a, a regular Chromecast, and on one end it has the HDMI connection to the TV, and on the other end it has the USB to give it power, and many uh, modern TVs have USB inputs beside the HDMI, so you don't have to find a separate power outlet. But I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the TV and then show you what you need to do in Windows to use uh, AirParrot to be able to cast or extend your display onto a Google Chromecast. So you can see I've got the Chromecast connected to the television now. And on my Windows laptop, I'm going to use a piece of software called AirParrot. So I'm going to uh, open up and search for it. So it's called AirParrot 3. And you can download this from uh, Squirrels is the company that has created it. And what it does is it allows you to create an additional display in Windows. And so it's saying, where do you want to go from? or do you want to extend? So I'm going to select, I want to extend my desktop, and then it searches for different options. And you'll notice here that it can connect to Apple TV or Chromecast. So what I'm showing you works exactly the same for an Apple TV if you have that as well. Uh, this particular Chromecast is called Office TV. So I, I'm saying extend my desktop to the Office TV. And You'll notice that what it does is it finds that Chromecast and it now has my desktop there as well. And it has extended it. So I've already said I want it extended. Now, when I, so I'm going to minimize this because I don't want to close it or else it go off. And you'll notice when I move my cursor off the right hand side of my laptop, it shows up on the left hand side of the TV because Windows assumes that's where the, another, the next display is, but that's not actually where it is. So I'm going to go into the Windows Display Settings, and I'm going to change the arrangement. So when you're in there, you can arrange the displays. And so if you don't know which is which, just click on the Identify button, and you'll see the numbers come up on the, the various displays. So I'm going to drag number two over to the left where it is and say Apply. Now you'll notice when I move my cursor off the left-hand side of my laptop, it shows up on the right-hand side over there. Now you'll notice the, the lag between when I'm moving and what shows up on that other display. So this is a display that I would suggest you don't want to use necessarily for full-time work because there is that lag. It is doing it wirelessly. What I would suggest is you consider it as a second display for PowerPoint's presenter view. So if you need that second display where the slides are going to show over there, you can see your notes here. It's a good way to get that extra display where you're just showing the slides anyway. So if there's a little bit of a lag on the mouse, it's not going to matter because you're not really using the mouse over there. But that's how we can use um, a Chromecast from Google and this software called AirParrot 3 from Squirrels to extend our display from a Windows computer to a TV that has that Chromecast. If you found this video helpful, there are three things you can do to help me out. First, click the like button below the video on YouTube. Second, leave a comment with any questions or feedback. And third, subscribe to my channel. Check out my websites and other videos with more tips and advice. Thanks again for watching.